Hi guys, Jay here. As always, I'm gonna take you through some recommendations for ways in which we might coach our kids. We're gonna take a closer look at Tuesday the 5th of April, which is Lynchpin Test 9. We've got five rounds for time, hands down walk for 50 feet, and then five squat cleans, five heavy this squat This week, cleans. we're gonna take a look at something a bit different than I normally do. I'm gonna take you through what a class might look like for kids. So I'm gonna take you from the warm up. Then some skill work, so some, a specific warm up, then the workout, and then the game that we like that I play, and then maybe what we talk about what we do at the end of a workout. Okay, so as with almost all CrossFit classes, you know we're going to start with a whiteboard session, and we're going to keep that really short. You know, maybe two to three minutes at most. We don't want to keep them at the whiteboard for too long. You know, we want to introduce what the workout's going to be. We're going to talk them through the structure of the lesson, maybe some of your expectations. And then we're going to get them moving as quick as we possibly can. We're going to start off with our general warm up. Now, here we've got a warm up which we're going to spend about 10 minutes going through this warm up. So, we're going to do three rounds of 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and that 10 minutes will include the explanation time and maybe move clearing that stuff away ready for the next part of the, the, the session. So we're gonna do three rounds of 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So we've got some broad jumps in there. So this stimulus that we're gonna get from those broad jumps would be that impact loading. Then we've got some bear crawls. So the children will rotate through these, they'll do 30 seconds of one, 30 seconds to transition to the next exercise. So 30 seconds bear crawl, we're getting, we're stimulating the vestibular system here with our bear crawls. And I would probably do that over a shuttle, maybe 10 meters there and back for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna increase the heart rate some more with some shuttle runs. So basically we're focusing on generally getting the children warm and some ball to throw targets. So I'll give the children maybe a small bucket or a hoop. Um, and I give them a couple of balls to throw into the target and they're going to throw it into the target, run, collect the ball, run back to their starting point and repeat that for 30 seconds. And then they can set themselves a little target to improve as they're moving uh, into the third and second rounds. So just to recap, during this general warm up, our stimulus is going to be some impact loading from the broad jumps. We're going to stimulate our vestibular system with the bear crawls. We're going to be increasing that temperature for generally warming up with the sprints and working on some coordination and some accuracy uh, with the ball to throw. The next part of our session is going to be moving on to our specific warm up. Again, I've allotted about 10 minutes for this part of the workout. We're going to focus, this will be our skill section element of the workout, of our session, overall session. So we've got wall walks and dumbbell hang squats. So for our advanced children, in the workout, they're going to be doing three to five wall walks, and then we've got five dumbbell hang squat cleans. For our less experienced children, again, we've got three to five wall walks. Potentially, it could be 10 meters roving plank if you're working with really small children, maybe three to five, that sort of age range. And then again, we're going to be working on five front squats. Now that could be loaded or unloaded. So during the specific warm up. I'm going to be walk, working on wall walks. Again, for our stimulus here, we've got some vestibular work. We've also got some shoulder strength and working on some of those, that, those functional movement patterns that we would like to see in CrossFit. For the dumbbell hang squat clean, we're going to be focusing on building on one of the foundation move, foundational movements. So we're building on the front squat and because these are more experienced children have um, developed consistency in the front squat and probably have an awareness of doing some power cleans, they're going to be, we're going to layer on some complexity for them. So dumbbell hang squat cleans, here we're building on that functional movement and my focus really is going to be hitting full extension and maintaining a neutral lumbar curve, particularly when they're receiving at the bottom of that squat clean. So that full extension could be a focus for one of the, for the children, particularly if they are maintaining that uh, neutral lumbar curve. Obviously that sort of thoracic stabi st stability is going to be our most important piece. 
So we're going to be, that's going to be our primary focus. But if our children do show um, good control of that point of performance, and they should do because they should be maintaining that in their front squats, then they are ready to maybe look at getting that full extension from the jump. This really is going to be um, about five minutes on each. We'd spend working on that, seeing where they could go. Now for the wall walk, they can go any height as long as they're maintaining the points of performance. So active shoulder, so keeping their arms nice and active and also maintaining that midline. They're not arching, over arching as they're walking up. So they can go up as high as they can, as long as they're maintaining those points of performance. We spend about 10 minutes here preparing them for that workout, they're making sure we know what sort of load that they're going to be using. If they are using a load, it could be that we're going to be establishing how high the children are going to go during that workout. And you'll see after about five minutes of where they might fatigue, where they might lose concentration. And that's where you'll direct your points of performance. After this, the children will be ready for their workout. So once the children have been prepared with the general warm up and then the specific warm up, we're going to take them through the workout. Now this workout that we've got today is AMRAP for quality, like I went through before. Three to five wall walks, depending on their capacity. Five dumbbell hang squat cleans, light dumbbells, dumbbells that they can move consistently well throughout the workout. I'm gonna cap the workout off at 10 minutes. I've got an AMRAP in here for a couple of reasons. It allows you to control the pace of the workout, but it also allows you to stop everyone at the same time. So we don't really have those winners and losers. I have mentioned before that, you know, there needs to be opportunities for the children to learn to win and lose. But during the workout part, it's probably not where we're going to be focusing on that. We're going to be focused on movement quality. We're going to be focusing on concentration. And we're going to be focusing on making sure that workout is a really fun part of the, day, the session. If you are working on the, uh, with the less experienced children, it could be front squats. And that part of the specific warm up there would be that front squat section there. You're gonna work, keep the clock running for about 10 minutes. I did this workout with my children and they, in about 10 minutes, they got through about five rounds each. And you'll see that um, my daughter was doing, um, she wasn't going quite as high on her wall walks. And also she was using a lighter load on the dumbbell uh, hang squat cleans. My son was going all the way inverted and he was using a slightly heavier load, more appropriate for where he was at. But five rounds was about where we got and that came under just under 10 minutes for us doing this workout. So as you can see, my son is going fully inverted and my daughter's not quite going so high and that we decided on a height for her during the specific warm up based on maintaining as many of the points of performance as possible. So my daughter has had a lot of experience squatting and can maintain a neutral lumbar curve and she squatted with load. So it was appropriate for us to load her with some dumbbell squat hand cleans. And for my son, you know, he also showed those points of performance. Really with my son, I was focusing on him getting to really full extension. Um, and he started to jump forward a little bit and that's something we'll address next time we come across the movement. With my daughter, I was really focusing on just making sure that she kept her elbows up, maintained a nice neutral lumbar curve. Remember, bum back first, okay? What, stop, I want your feet a little bit wider. Good girl, knees out, go. One, 
How about that? Keep it up about that. Two. Go. Two. That's better. Three. Four. How about that? Now for the most important part of a CrossFit Kids session, the game. So again, I've allotted about 10 minutes of the game. I like to keep the game um, away from the children. I don't like to show the game to the children before we get to the game part of this, the session. And that is just in case I need to change the game. And then that might cause some disappointment from children that were really looking forward to a particular game. So for this week, I've taken one of the games from the uh, CrossFit Kids startup curriculum. It's a great game. It's really simple. You can play it with it's minimal equipment. All you need is uh, one to two children at least and a piece of scrap paper. And what you can do, you're going to set up a circle where the children, or it could just be in the space, and the children are going to walk around in a circle. Now, if they walk fast enough, the paper stays uh, on their chest. If for some reason they slow down or lose concentration and that paper falls off, they're going to come out and they're going to perform one of the foundational movements for three high quality reps. And depending on the movements you might have focused on during your workout. So here I've got some uh, squat cleans and I've got some wall walks here. So really I've hit both in terms of a elements of a press and an element of a squat. So it might be nice to keep reinforcing those during the paper walk game. Um, and you keep going through that, just making it as fun as possible, change the way they move, they might skip, they might run, maybe it's moving up and down. Round a circle works really nicely in an affiliate setting. And this is the most important thing. This is the thing that the children want to get to. They want to get to that game. So make sure you leave enough time for that. Even if that means you're cutting your workout sh really short, because you might have overrun here on your general and specific warm-ups, then it's your workout that you're going to cut and reduce the time because you have to get to that game. Really, the final part of our CrossFit Kids session is going to be either some sort of homework or challenge. There's lots of research to show that children are sort of in their best um, psychological state to learn and to um, remember uh, information, remember knowledge, um, maybe even take on a new skill. So here it could be five minutes of answering some math questions, it could be uh, one, there's some great challenges in the CrossFit Kids Startup curriculum where you're asking the children some of the points of performance for some of the foundational movements. They're a great way to reinforce that and then hopefully they get stuck in their memory or it could be some extra skill work that you might be focusing on. And really, you start to do that with your older children, sort of pre-teen, sometimes some of your teen age groups. I hope this was insightful for you guys and that you have fun maybe using this plan or use it as a general guide for planning your own sessions. Thanks very much.